Located in Northern Thailand, Pai has increased in popularity over the years with the backpacker and travel community. It's best known for its mountainous landscape, relaxed atmosphere and party vibes. In this video, we're going to visit some of the highlights of Pai, including Bamboo Bridge, Big Buddha and Pai Canyon. Well, we got into Pai last night, a little bit late, sort of after dark, so we couldn't really see the place where we are staying. And I've just woken up nice and early to get a good little look around. And this place is so beautiful. We have this rice paddy next to us. We've got this beautiful pool surrounded by a fish pond. Look at all these fish down here. So many fish. And we are right at the foot of the mountains as well. We've got the big Buddha situated up on the mountains above us. And we are just to the south of Pai Town, which we had a little stroll through last night. And uh, it was a Saturday night, so it was a little bit busy out there. But it was definitely, definitely an interesting place. And we are going to take you all the way through uh, Pai Walking Street, as well as many of the bars and restaurants. There's a lot going on today, so we're going to go and check it all out. We are taking a drive now up to the Pembok community. Uh, there's a couple of cool things out here. There is the Pai zip wire or zip line. And we've got some waterfalls as we can see. And we are going to one place in particular, which I'm really looking forward to. And that is a beautiful bamboo bridge over some rice paddies. And it's been a beautiful drive out here so far. Uh, driving through the countryside, seeing a lot of roadside cafes with beautiful hammocks and swing seats to sit in and relax in but we're just making our way out here on our first day in Pai and uh, I'm really really excited I, I love this place already it's so cool we are on the bamboo bridge now it costs 30 bucks per person and it's absolutely beautiful out here we're here in the morning which I think is the perfect time the light is so nice and it's gorgeous so pretty I'm gonna go sit on the little heart shaped chair it is so pretty here it's so beautiful we're just at the foot of these mountains and there's like a low cloud kind of rolling over them and we're just walking across this bamboo which feels a little bit flimsy <laughs> if i'm honest um, past these gardens with flowers and look at this we've got some nice seats and there is like a pagoda temple up here as well I thought I'd have a go on the little swing here. It is just so picturesque. I don't think we can tell you enough how gorgeous it is here. Already this is a must do in Pai for me. It is absolutely stunning. We found a little viewpoint here. It looks like we've just got some seats. I don't know if like this gets busier as the season kind of gets more, or here beginning of the season, so as the season opens up, maybe we'll get busier here. But imagine being here with a drink or some food. It's just so magical. This is such a cool place. Walking across the rice paddies, epic views of mountains, blistering hot sun. <laughs> Probably should have worn a hat today. Um, but we are going to trek over to the other side and see where this bamboo bridge takes us. This is so pretty. We walked further along now and now we've come to a nice shaded spot too, which is really lovely. And we're in like this love heart archway. They've got these vines going and growing all up them. It's so beautiful. This is taking us on a real nature trail. It's probably advisable to get a, get a drink or get a snack before you head on up this way at one of the cafes before set off because I'm not sure where this stops. It is, it is going for it. And at the very end of the uh, bamboo bridge structure is a Buddhist temple. which is very, very peaceful here. And then you have views back over the rice paddies from the temple. Lovely. Well, we have worked up an appetite and we're very thirsty. It was a lot longer than we actually thought this activity, but a must do for sure. So now we're gonna go and head back into Pai Town and find somewhere to eat at one of the many cafes they have there. After walking back across the bamboo bridge, we found ourselves drawn to one of the cafes. They had a few animals lazing about the place and greeting customers. And the cafe that we chose had the most incredible view from the second floor platform. 
We enjoyed a coffee and a juice and took in the incredible view. If you do visit the Bamboo Bridge, we definitely recommend checking out JE Cafe as well. They've got Wi-Fi, swinging seats, food options, as well as hammocks overhanging the edge of the building. We have found somewhere to eat, it's called Earth Tone. It seemed to pop up a lot when I was researching, it has good reviews and I am absolutely starving. So let's go smash some food. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I think that was a 10 out of 10 for Corey's tempeh burger. He loved it. The salad was nice too. And overall, this place is just a really cool and laid back vibe. And they've also got a little shop here too. So I'm gonna go and have a peek at that before we leave. We're gonna go take a walk along Walking Street. This is on every night in Pai. It's one of the must-do activities here. Uh, lots of markets, selling cool stuff. So we're gonna go check it out. Pai's Walking Street runs from west to east, and from my experience, it feels like there's much more to do on the eastern end. It's closer to like the, the river, the main sort of town area, and there's lots of bars, lots of restaurants, a couple of little like secret laneways. If you're adventurous, you can find some cool little um, hidden places. We found one last night, and uh, I think we might end up taking you guys there today. We got some beautiful art, we've got an elephant, and the hand of Buddha. We have nowhere to hang them, but we'll keep them for one day. We will hang them somewhere. <laughs> A souvenir from Pai. Quite cool, aren't they? This shop that Charlotte is looking in has some really cool hats. And it's like a cap at the back, but it doesn't have a brim. So it's just a... It's just fashion. I like it. It's different. We are going to a place called Spirit Bar. The guy out there handed a leaflet and was like, come in here, we've got jewellery, music, a bar. And it was very exciting, so we were tempted. We have come to the Jazz House for an open mic night here. We've got different um, artists performing. It seems like a really cool laid back venue here. We're here on a Sunday night, it's a very chill vibe. We've got hammocks here, uh, lots of cushions on the floor. It seems like a really cool spot. Corey's loving it. Down this little laneway where we found the Jazz House, there's lots of like little stalls. Food, food trucks. Yeah, food trucks. They're kind of like more fast than loose. And you can sit down around sometimes picnic tables or sometimes inside, but really cheap down there uh, good food as well it looks like a lot of happy faces and then you've got the jazz house nearby as well so you can check that out there's a street which runs parallel to the river here in Pai and it has got quite a few really really cool looking accommodations if you are looking for a place to stay uh, and you want to see and experience a bit more of the nightlife here then this street here, which runs parallel, I think that'd be the place to stay. So I've got a few different options. You can stay in one of the hostels here or one of the hotels or resorts, but plenty to choose from, plenty to see, and plenty of fun to be had. And so this morning I got up before sunrise super early to try and get to Yun Lai viewpoint, which was something that was on my Google Maps saved to do. But when I got there, there was a village at the bottom of the hill and they were stopping cars from going up and charging 200 baht. But I think if you had like four people, it might've been like 350 baht. So I didn't go up because it's a little bit cloudy anyway. Instead, I've come to this place called Coffee in Love, and it's a beautiful view of the mountains to the south of Pai. And <laughs> I have a little friend who's looking after me here while I wait for the shop to open. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here and capture a bit of the mist moving across the mountains and wait for a nice coffee. The coffee shop is open, it opens at seven o'clock and 
it's pretty quiet here. I mean, we're still not in the high season just yet, but it's a really nice view. It's a really nice view. I wish Charlotte was here because we have cats running around. There's loads of seats in different parts of the property. You can go for a walk around. There's bench seats down on the land as well as like raised platforms overlooking the mountain and the garden. It's really nice here. It is really, really nice. We have made our way to Moang Pang Hot Spring here near Pai. It's actually a bit of an adventure to get out here, but by jingos, you can feel the heat coming out of the ground here. Wow, you can feel the heat. Oh my gosh. The signs say it's 100 degrees temperature, the water. I believe there's some other pools which may be mixed with a bit of cool water. Maybe we can get in, but cool place and the other thing is this is actually free to get to you don't have to pay an entry fee there's a car park here with a toilet and a small stand selling eggs if you wanted to boil some eggs for lunch <laughs> but it's not a hot spring where you have to pay for an entry fee so that is a tick yeah that's not 100 degrees because i did not scream but this is it's still hot feels like a very very hot hot tub like 40 degrees plus I'm trying to resist the urge to put my hand in there and touch it like a child. It looks actually really awesome up close. Seems like they have a few man-made bathing pools around here. We've got this one here, the circular one we went to first. And I'm not sure if this is a bathing pool over here, but some kind of like river they've created. But I think this is great to say it's completely free. You can just come and visit. Maybe it's a bit of a local spot. I wonder if you could just kind of swim in this. But it's just so hot. The hot water doesn't really excite me too much. But yeah, but maybe in the cooler months, it would be quite nice. But yeah, this is really quite beautiful. just done a loop circuit back to Pi that we saw recommended because it goes past this geyser and we're just driving along like wonder if we can really like spot it <laughs> there's just like this steam bubbling away next to the road size how crazy you can see how hot this water is because of the steam coming off it it's got to be over 100 degrees coming out of that geyser like that and it just sort of flows down into this farmland valley below we have some dogs running along the road and this is a very popular motorbike route so we've got some motorbikes flying past as well. Um, amazing place. A lot of geothermal activity here. We have come to the big Buddha, the big white Buddha temple now in Pai. We've actually just had a huge lunch at uh, Earth Tone which is just at the bottom of the hill. Um, but we can see the big Buddha up there and we're going to take a gentle walk up to the top. Charlotte is not in the mood for this. We've just had a massive meal. I'm in a food coma. I've just had loads of potatoes and when I do, I always feel like I've got a lot of energy to burn. You can go for a run after a nice hot chips. It's, I don't know, it's in my DNA. Potatoes is my spirit food. Big butter with a pretty good view. Wow. Wow, it is such a lovely spot out there to sit and watch the mountains on the other side of the valley from Pai. Very, very peaceful, very tranquil. Yeah, everyone up there is treating it with a lot of respect. Just very quiet, very serene just taking in the, the natural beauty of the landscape around. It's a lovely, lovely spot. So rounding off our time here in Pai, we're gonna come up to Pai Canyon and check it out for sunset. The last couple of nights haven't been great for sunset. We've had a lot of clouds, so hopefully we get a bit more color tonight. It is a little bit hectic here. There's like a bit of a 
bottleneck. It sort of comes down to this point where you have to, yeah, scramble down and go to one of the other parts, but I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to go around this way and uh, see what we can see from there. We thought we would escape the crowds. I can't believe how busy it was. It seemed like every backpacker and pie had come here to watch the sunset. And as you could see, it's so narrow. So there's like uh, traffic <laughs> merging there. Yeah, and people were a little bit impatient, just wanted to go see the sunset. So we thought, oh, we'll just leave it. Maybe we'll come to this larger bit. And actually it's really quiet here. It's not really a sunset, what we'd hoped, I think, because it's so cloudy. A little bit of orange in the sky, but it is still very beautiful. But wow, it's a busy spot. Okay, so that is it for our adventures here in Pai. If you guys enjoyed that, please let us know by leaving a comment below or hit the like button, hit subscribe for more adventures around Thailand. Uh, we are taking on the Mai Hong Son loop, so we'll be continuing our adventure through the mountains of Northern Thailand and then heading on down to the islands and Phuket, Krabi, uh, Koh Panyang as well. So we're very much looking forward to that. But other than that, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.